Hi, Kaveh. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Marlene. How are you? I'm doing okay. Looking forward to the end of all of this, for sure. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so you're in college now, right? Yes, it's my first year in college, but it's been a real journey this past year with finishing up high school and uh, staying at home, doing all these homeworks and everything. It's been fun, but also a little bit of a, a challenge for me. I can imagine. I, 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 so you're one of the, the lost seniors from last year that you missed out on all the big end of year events. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I was one of them. And in our theater, we, um, in my theater group play production, um, we had a play planned out, Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. Oh, yeah. And we had everything planned out and all of a sudden this pandemic just hit us. And that was one thing, prom was one thing, uh, graduation was one thing. So it was like everything that a senior can dream of, really, if you're in high school, that's your number one dream is like, go to all the senior things and graduates yeah. and all of a sudden everything just crashes, but we still got a video graduation. We, um, we've had a virtual prom, um, which was fun. That sounds good. Yeah. I, I'm um, involved with um, PFLAG with advocacy for LGBTQ mm -hmm. causes. And um, we missed pride last year and everything is going to be virtual again this year and somehow not having the parade really takes a lot of the celebration mm -hmm. out of the event so that's going to be it'll be nice when we can all get together again for sure really so any new hobbies um i'm watching uh, a ton of movies and <laughs> i love I, I love movies in general like any film i sit down even if it's a uh, one hour or even five hours long i just love to sit down and watch movies yeah it sounds like you've got a real interest in in theater and movies are you kind of pursuing that as a major in college um it's something in college that i would love to experiment with um i'd love to write i write screenplays a lot and hopefully um uh, I'm taking a screenplay class at the moment. Hopefully that can help me a little bit more and um, find my broading skills. But uh, anything with film or theater is something that I love. That's cool. Um, speaking of films, do you have any films that you like a lot? Oh, well, my family does an annual Lord of the Rings marathon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> extended version um <laughs> i i i really like um good mysteries mm -hmm. um good fantasy um and i'm i'm not so much a, a romantic comedy person except once in a blue moon i'll get in a mood for that mm -hmm. i like movies that make me think definitely yes or that take me to a completely different place mm -hmm. So how about you? Um, I love old, old style movies. Um, I'm mainly, uh, I love uh, films like Goodfellas. That's like one of my all time uh -huh. favorites. Um, films like Million Dollar Baby, like those kind mm -hmm. of films that like bring emotion, but also are amazing directing yeah. and writing. Anything that has a great message in it is something that I love to watch. Yeah, that's, that's great. For me, um, it's it's music. I've been a, a, a singer all my life, and um, especially choral singer. There's there's something really special for me about singing in a group, and I that was one of the first things that we had to stop doing last year, because they found out how dangerous singing with other people was, and so I was a member of two choirs and everything just halted mm -hmm. we one of my choirs made made one um, virtual choir we worked on one virtual choir project so you know we got the music and we got a video of the director you know directing so we could follow 
that. And then you had to just go in a room and put on a headset to hear the music in your ear and then just sing into the microphone. And listening to that unaccompanied solo voice in on playback before submitting the video was the most painful thing I think I've experienced in a long time. Um, and I, I thought, yeah, don't want to do that again. I want to be back in a room with people. I want <laughs> it, so I'm really looking forward to choirs being able to start up again, hopefully in the fall. So, so what have been the things that you have missed the most this uh, last year? Um, outside of school, um, uh, I would have to say maybe um, trips. I missed that a lot. Um, um, that was something I used to do all the time. We go to LA to see my brother or uh, just going around the world a little bit. And then um, hopefully once I got my vaccines, I can start planning out um, places to go and hopefully clear my mind a little bit. Um, I'm getting used to staying at home, but also I would love to smell the fresh air once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, I think traveling, not being able to travel was one of the things that I really missed too. I, I had, unfortunately, um, several deaths in my family last year, none of them COVID related, but my ability to be there um, either at the end of like my sister's life and my mother's life and, and even to go to a memorial service. I wasn't able to, cause they were in other States. And, um, my husband and I had had a big road trip planned last summer, um, up into Canada. Of course, Canada didn't want us. So that went away <laughs> and we had planned a, um, a hot air balloon ride. That was something that we both had on our bucket list and it was gonna take place on my husband's birthday in July. And the closer we got to it, the idea of being in a basket with several other people for an hour and a half, I, I just thought uh, this is really not smart to do that this year. So mm. we're hoping to do that this summer, which would be nice. But um, I think, on a day-to-day -day basis for me, the hardest thing has been not being able to get together with people because I love to meet friends for coffee and, um, and I'm a big hugger and I have really missed that this past year. It's been hard, but I hugged my daughter for the first time since last May about a week ago and that just felt so good. Definitely. I'm planning on seeing my brother at the end of the month. So in, oh, good. in Texas. So hopefully cross my fingers from now till end of the month, things go smooth in, yes. in these few states so we can travel at least. Yeah. So um, have there been any good things that have come out of this for you? Um especially um, probably having all these virtual things with um, Comic-Con and uh, was a new one that came out, DC Fandom. Um, they have been amazing and I get to watch it on my computer. Yeah. Uh, watching a ton of movies and having a lot of Zoom conversations. What would we have done without Zoom this year? My yeah. gosh. If only we had bought stock at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we actually, um, some of the things I'm involved in, we actually found some benefit to being remote. Um, like I was saying earlier, I'm involved with PFLAG and um, we do um, monthly support meetings for um, families of members of the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. But what we started finding out almost immediately is that in addition to the people that would normally come to our meetings that lived locally, we started to get people from tiny communities that didn't have access to a meeting before, sometimes even people from other states mm -hmm. who would join our meeting. And for the first time in their lives, they were able to get support. Yeah. <laughs> and now everyone's starting to get used to Zoom as its main platform. And I think that Zoom has been helping us. So there has been some good things that have came around with this pandemic. 
I think you're right. So, well, it was so good to meet you. you and to well. get to talk to you. Great to meet you. And it was a great conversation that we've been having. Yes, and good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I hope everything goes well with you and your P flag and everything. Thank you. Take care. You too. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.